Welcome in, guys. This is our first Guild of Guardians video uh, since the game has released. And I have here today my friend uh, Toadman Sam, or Toad or Sam, and we're going to get to know him a little bit in a second. Uh, my name is Bruno or Capone Gaming. Uh, some of you may know me in the community. I've been around here for a while, basically since the very, very, very beginning, the Mint. Uh, so I've been around for a while. I used to make weekly videos for GOG, and uh, we're back at it. The game is out. We're going to be making videos constantly for you guys. So if, this, if you want some information about the game, you know, maybe heroes to use, builds, just get to know the community this will be the spot so make sure you follow the channel uh, i do stream on twitch and kick every single day six nights a week you, there's the link right here you can check it out follow the socials all that fun stuff uh, other than that uh that's me i'm bruno capone gaming and uh here today uh would you like to introduce yourself uh go right ahead yeah hi everyone i'm uh, tone man sam uh co-founder of the guild and community o canada a um, so I'm a very active within the Guild of Guardians space and a good connoisseur uh, of all things Guild of Guardians, as I have been uh, with the project with uh, for three years and followed everything going on. Uh, big intro, good intro. Uh, good to see you here, Toad. Uh, if you guys have been involved in the community, you know exactly who he is. Uh, we're going to get into it today. We're going to break down the eSport heroes today. A lot of you have a lot of questions, myself included. And Toad or Sam, you call him whatever you want, uh, he has a lot of answers. He is definitely uh, a numbers guy, a statistics guy, and, and he's breaking it all down. And he's got the information you're looking for. So stick around. We're going to break down every single hero for you guys. But before we get into that, I want to give a big, big shout out and a big thank you to the Gilded Guardians team. Uh, they sent this to me in the mail the other day, uh, and it is absolutely beautiful. This is my very own Bronwyn uh, NFT uh, in a um, frame. It's a, a, a loop, an unlimited loop frame. It's the NFT itself framed. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. So big shout out to the team. I know there's kind of a glare. It's kind of hard to see, but it's absolutely stunning. And this is definitely on the display for the stream um, when I do stream every single day. So big shout out to the team. Thank you very, very, very much. And uh, that being said, guys, let's get right into all of the stuff. I know you guys are looking forward to it. I am too. And uh, let's... So, Sam, first things first, uh, is there anything you want to say before we start diving into all the heroes? Yeah, 100%. Um, so, we're going to be going to e into the eSports heroes, and this is kind of a huge collection, both for Web3 as a whole and for Guild of Guardians, because it's the first partnership uh, between Web3 and eSport uh, companies, organizations, and it's a, it's a huge uh, mark for, for the whole Web3 space. Uh, this uh, the sale for these did happen quite a quite a while ago, um, but I think uh, I was excited when this was announced. Uh, they made a whole launch, like whole campaign around it, and the content was great. Uh, and now we get to play these, so I'm super excited. Very very excited too. Uh, I'm with you. I'm I'm a big you know gamer myself. And uh, and I know these teams, the teams that came and joined the Guild of Guardians. I'm actually familiar with them, and uh, it was really really cool to see and how they they created the characters around them, and they kind of like uh you know represent the team in, in in some sort of way which is is absolutely incredible so i got a bunch of these myself and uh I'm, I'm excited to break it down with you because i have a lot of questions uh my team is built of esport uh heroes and you have a lot of answers so yeah so let's get right into it let's talk about uh, stratos a little bit here uh what are your thoughts on stratos uh break it all down for us yeah so I have to say Stratos is kind of my favorite because uh, he is the Cloud9 uh, eSports Guardian. Uh, so I've got my jersey on today for Cloud9. Uh, so really love him. Uh, he's also a tank, uh, which if you play Guild of Guardians, you know tanks are indispensable. Uh, you need at least one or two. Um, I really like uh, Stratos because he does provide that frontline damage dealer. So he does output a lot more damage than a normal tank. But he also revives. So one of his, his big passives is once he dies, he actually comes back to life uh, with 60% of his health. So he, he never really dies. So he's always right there up front fighting. And he, he just a great damage dealer as well with his ult that just uh, soaks up the damage for three seconds and then dishes it right back at your enemy uh, in an AoE fashion. So I think he's a very strong uh, DPS tank. Yeah, this is actually one of the ones I was really hoping to get, and I didn't get it, unfortunately. Uh, but I tried. This is the one I was like, if there's one I get, it has to be this one. I, I know Cloud9 as well. I've definitely been following them for a while and uh, love the, the art of it. I love the style of it. It's a tank. I love that kind of style. Um, unfortunately, didn't get one. Yeah, I agree. I think, I think every team needs a tank. Uh, that's where my problem was when the game first came out. 
I'm looking at my heroes, and I didn't have any tanks. And I was like, well, this is a problem. You know, I had a bunch of assassins. Uh, and uh, I was like, all right, I need a tank in there somewhere. So uh, Stratos is definitely something I'm looking at. I'd love to get my hands on one. And uh, beautiful art, beautiful character, good unit to have. Everyone needs a tank. And I agree. What would you say this is one of the, the ones that are pretty important to have? This Stratos is a pretty important key in, into a lot of teams. Can, does he fit in well? Uh, is, is he, is, does he have a lot of utility? What's, uh, what, what's the plan with this guy? Yeah, so the, the main plan with Stratos, uh, he fits in with pretty much anything because he his skills don't uh, need to rely on something else. So he, he's kind of a one-man uh, one man tank, uh, if you want. So he, he really does everything he needs to do on his own. Uh, but the fact that he does revive means that uh, you can feel safe in your back line. Uh, even when he does die, he comes back up uh, right away. So... There, your your opponent's never getting to your backline uh, through through uh, through Stratos. Yeah, I love that mechanic, the revive mechanic for sure. Well, there's Stratos for you guys. Uh, good tank, uh, definitely check it out. Uh, the next unit we're looking at is Arant. Tell us a little bit about Arant. Uh, where do you wh what are your thoughts on her? Where do you rank her in the mix? Uh, this is another tank, right? So there's Stratos and Arant. What what, what are your thoughts on this? So uh, Arant is the Fnatic uh, Guardian. So for those uh, big Fnatic fans, Arant is uh, your pick right there. Um, definitely a really good utility tank. Uh, so Arant has a few special uh, abilities, uh, but her main one uh, buffs the attack damage of your squad in an area, as well as reduces the attack damage of the enemy squad. So that's her ultimate. So really looking at utility with Arant, but her other uh, secondary um, skills... Uh, are focused around disarming your opponent. Uh, so that's huge because your opponent now deals a lot less damage because they are disarmed. Um, so I think uh, she's definitely a great tank, uh, but not your traditional tank. Uh, you're kind of you're looking at tricks in, in games uh, to play uh, against your opponent here, and that's where Rand falls in. I feel that's a that's a factor a lot of people overlook. A lot of people just look for straight damage, and 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 that's a thing. A lot of times when I play these games, I look for things like that. How do you mess with your opponent's team, shut them down, and then they can't do anything? If they can't attack you or they can't do whatever, they're kind of useless. And uh, I love those kind of mechanics. So uh, there is a round for you. I don't think I say the name right, but uh, listen to uh, Sam here. He he'll he'll pronounce them all right. I'm kind of just you know. Uh, all right, but there is a round. Another tank. Um, good choice as well. Again, I, I we talked about this a little bit before we started. I love the esport. The whole concept of it just bringing the teams into the game having their own heroes and stuff very 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 cool concept um and there is Arant. next up we have juno what do we think of juno here talk to me about juno i actually have this hero uh so let me hear it what, what, are, what are some the good the bad the ugly what, what do we know about juno what's going on okay so with juno we we fall into the assassin section uh of of the guardians and uh to be honest i think the assassins are definitely on the weaker end of uh of the whole guardians mm -hmm. um that being said once you get to you know higher levels and and equipping them with better gear uh, assassins are absolutely devastating like they're crazy good um so juno here is uh is uh from navi uh, i'm not i don't i'm not familiar with navi uh but th uh, that's who juno is related to uh, it's definitely about poison so juno is all about poison damage over time um, which at first you're like, okay, that's not great because you want to be killing things really fast uh, in, in PvP uh, as well as any other game mode in Guild of Guardians. Uh, but I think the passive that she brings to the table uh, increases the amount of damage per stack of poison uh, that you put on your opponent. So it's not necessarily about damage over time. It's about stacking the poison and then doing loads of damage because they've got stacks of poison. Um, Again, an assassin usually jumps into the back line uh, and fights there. So it's kind of important to, you know, surround surround Juno a bit with some health, uh, some support, some tricks uh, so that uh, she can stay alive. But uh, yeah, assassins are definitely harder to play and harder to build around. Uh, but if you can pull it off, you've, you've, got, you've got some solid assassin choices. Yeah, I can see... Uh, I agree. I think the assassins right now, I, I, either people aren't figuring out how to play it properly with them, but I feel like eventually these guys will have the utility that uh, that that we need. And and right now, yeah, a lot of people are going like tank, DPS, healers, stuff like that, and they're leaving out those assassins. 
This yeah. game is is brand new. We're what a few days in, not even a weekend or maybe a weekend by now. Uh, there's going to be you know metas that are going to come and go. Things are going to shift. People are going to learn new things. People are going to figure out things. Right now, I don't see assassins in the mix, but I can tell you right now, in all these kind of games, somebody always figures something out, and with the assassins, and they become just that team that you just can't beat. It just they come and they just melt you. They do this thing with the poison, a lot of poison stacks, stuff like that. So yeah. I'm excited to see when somebody figures it out. And uh, we see some good assassin teams. I have a bunch of assassins myself. Uh, and uh, I'm just hoping. Maybe I'm just hoping. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm just hoping. So uh, there's Juno. Yes, that's one of the ones I have. I haven't really leveled her up, so I don't know myself yet. I kind of keep her uh, pretty low. But uh, it's the, it, Juno's that one that I'm like, I really want to level up next. But it's like, uh, I just I can't bring myself to do it because then I'm not you know continuing forward so i need to i need to just take it a couple days back level up my my juno and then push forward with her so uh, let's see that's juno uh i do like what i see though but uh but yes i agree the assassins i think might need a little bit of love in a bit all right uh next up we have yusta this is actually another assassin uh, i have you know uh, lucky me so i have uh, i have yusta i have juno uh first of all the art is beautiful i, I have leveled this up a little bit i i do like yusta uh again it's not one of my top top uh, leveled up characters, but it is in the mix. It's like kind of like midway. Uh, I like the style of it. Uh, what are your thoughts on Yusta? Tell us about it. I'm a huge fan of Yusta. Uh, Yusta is the the only assassin which I actually like the skill set of. Um, so first of all, Yusta is uh, under ninjas in pajamas. Uh, so that esports uh, org. Um, so Yusta is all about attack speed. Um, so just getting attacks done very quickly. Uh, that's essentially what her whole kit is. Um, apart from that, you get the the her ultimate, which tr teleports you to the weakest enemy, and then if you kill that enemy, you get your energy back and you can start over. Yep. So attack speed, and then just going for the weakest, killing them, and repeat, rinse, rinse, repeat. Yeah. So it's a it's a really good cycle. Again. Um, an assassin, so definitely on the squishy side. So want to support uh, support Yusta as much as you can if that's your main damage dealer, because he can be your main damage dealer. You know the potential is is there. Um, and a key fact is Yusta is the only assassin who, when they teleport, they actually teleport back when they're done. So they don't stay in the back line. They come back to your front line with your tanks uh, and, and they chill there until you trigger that ultimate again. Yeah, I love that mechanic, and I'm glad you brought it up. The uh, both the mechanics actually, I love how yes, they come back to your team because that's one thing I always find with the, the dive tanks that jump in. They kind of dive in, and then they just get stuck there, and they they die. They get melted. They're just just overwhelmed. Uh, used to yeah, dives in, does what she's got to do, comes back. I also love. Um, like you said, when they do the alt, uh, the the ultimate or whatever, and they kill someone, boom, they regen it, and it's just like this chain, and the damage is incredible. I can definitely see Yusta uh, being used um, in PvP and other game modes. Uh, definitely a great character. Definitely a character I would say keep an eye out for. I, like I said, I do have Yusta. I've leveled her up kind of halfway, um, and it's someone I definitely want to bring forward. I just I love the mechanics. I love the way that I love the way she plays. I love that style. Kind of get in quick, do your things, get out. Uh, you know, quick. Like I said, quick. Spikes of damage, boom! You kill someone, jump back in, boom! You can and you can just chain it, uh, which is really nice. So Yusta uh, for an assassin, I agree. I like Yusta um, personally better than Juno. I haven't used Juno enough to kind of you know judge it, but Yusta is definitely someone I've leveled up a little bit and have a little bit of experience with. So yeah, Yusta, uh, great character so far from what I see. Again, the assassins are you know not in the the meta quote unquote, but um, it's still very early, and I'm sure that'll change fast. So uh, there is. Yusta. All right, the next one, Aurora. I have Aurora as well. I actually have a warrior Aurora skin. I have one warrior uh, esport hero, and that is my Aurora. That's the one. That's not mine right there, but uh, I have uh, I have a warrior Aurora, uh, which I was super happy for. And uh, all right, let's tell me tell me a little bit about uh, Aurora. Tell us. Now, Aurora is, I think, the most interesting uh, ranger. So we are moving from assassins into rangers. Uh, and Aurora falls under the uh, Team Liquid org. Uh, so for those of you familiar, I know in North America here, uh, Liquid yep. is, is definitely a huge deal. Yep. Um, so Aurora is a unique uh, ranger that does not just straight-up attack, but a lot of utility. Um, and for a ranger to have utility, I think that's really unique. Um, so her alt 
essentially brings a whole a blob of energy to the sky and then drops it on the whole battlefield. So it's an AoE attack on her ultimate, which is great, again, for a ranger. Um, but her additional skills is all about, you know, disruption as well. So you can banish the highest power enemy for five seconds, which kind of lets you clear the whole battle before that one comes back, and then you can focus that one down. Um, so, and a, a lot of crowd control extensions. So if you crowd control uh, someone on the board, uh, you can extend that crowd control with uh, Aurora. So I think utility-wise is a super interesting Guardian, as well as damage-wise. Yeah, that's the thing too. Like you said, with Rangers, usually they're just usually straight damage dealers. They don't have all that utility. So Aurora is my sixth character. It's the one that just hits the bench on my team. Uh, but I have a hard time even benching her sometimes because that's the one I want in. It's just under level, just a little bit under leveled. Uh, if I give her a few more levels, she would be my fifth for sure. So uh, love the play style. Again, like you said with the alt where it splashes everybody. It's not your typical ranger class. Uh, I think it's a phenomenal class. Again, it's my warrior one. I want it on the field. So it, it is just it, not because it's my sixth best. It's because it's just uh, it's just not leveled enough to be on that field. Once I get a few levels on her, she's going to be on that team. Uh, again, love the way she plays, love the utility, love the moves, and uh, I definitely find that she can change the the, the battle sometimes when, when when things work in the right direction. Uh, she can definitely uh, win the battle for you, which I like. So Aurora, I agree, I definitely like. Want to see? Uh, I want to see more um, builds around you know Aurora and 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 Usta and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I definitely like Aurora. It's one that I, I definitely want to bring up a little bit more and, and see what she's like when she gets to the, you know, level 70, 80, 90, whatever it is. Um, I definitely like Aurora as well. All right. Next up, we have Abbas. Is that how you say that right? Abbas, what are your thoughts? Uh, this is another ranger, uh, correct? Yep. This is another ranger. Um, so Abbas is, uh, is, is one of my main. Uh, so we did talk about uh, typical rangers, and I think I think Abbas falls straight into that category. <laughs> Uh, with a few tricks and uh, tips, uh, tricks, yeah, up his sleeves. Um, so Abyss is really based around crit, so critting as much as possible, uh, fast range attacks, uh, as well as, as a crazy powerful ultimate. So uh, his ultimate essentially uh, bolts out eight bolts towards the enemy squad, and when it hits, it does a whole lot of damage. Now that's really strong if your opponent is straight up in your face, because all of those bolts will hit. The first thing uh, that come it comes into contact with. So if that's a boss, that boss is gone, right? Uh, no matter of what ultimate. Mm. So that's a, that's his ultimate skill. Uh, I think what people kind of overlook on Abbas is he's a good backline defender. So whenever someone teleports to the backline onto Abyss, he actually has a skill that triggers a ton of arrows into that the that enemy and then push it knocks him back. So. For for a backline, if you're 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 kind of worried or trying to protect anything on your backline, and you you need a ranger in that spot, I think Abbas is great for that. That is uh, that is definitely a, a very important piece of information there because. The whole point is you want to keep your healers up, right? You want to keep your support up. You got to keep them alive. If you keep your support up, your support's going to keep you up. So it's a it's a revolving door. It's a cycle. It's a cycle you want. So that's actually really important. I don't have Abyss, so I, I've never played with them. I don't know the play style, but uh, that's really good to know. So yeah, it can keep your healers safe or whatever it is. A lot of damage. I like how you said with the with the bosses. Uh, if all those arrows hit, it's just going to melt. I mean, of course, uh, I like that. I like the art style on this as, as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't have uh, Abyss myself. But love that the style, like you said, with the defending the you know in the back line, which is is just key because that's what happens. A lot of people dive in, kill your healers, and then you just see that kind of like it's just that momentum against you, which uh, which you don't want. So uh, that is uh, very very key, um, and it's good to hear that uh, he is one of your main uh, characters because uh, again, I love these esport uh, heroes, and I love that they're in the game, and I want to see them being used everywhere. That's what I want to see because I I think it's such a good concept to have in these games. Agree, and uh, Abbas is also a T1 uh, for those. Uh, oh, nice! Who follow esports? Yeah, there you go, there you go. All right, next up, uh, I do have a actually a Bronwyn. That is the one that comes with this. So uh, I have. Oh, well, I just turned it off. But that is my very special Bronwyn. Uh, the the frame that we got. Thank you, GOG Guild of Guardians team again. Big shout out to you guys. Uh, it's a Bronwyn. This is what I have. So tell us about Bronwyn. Uh, what are your thoughts on honor? Uh, let's break it down. Okay. Uh, 
Bronwyn is is very special. Um, I'll just start off by saying Bronwyn is an energy uh, org uh, character. So for those of you who can relate to energy, um, Bronwyn is is kind of a, a very good character. Uh, I would personally say is probably the top top tier of these esports uh, characters is Bronwyn. Uh, and that's because what she brings to the battle is just indispensable. So uh, her ultimate right now is, well, I mean, is a laser beam uh, that, that crosses the battlefield. So off the bat, we're like, oh, that sounds great. That's amazing. It's a laser. Who doesn't like lasers, right? Um, but what really brings uh, Bronwyn to another level is her passive. Uh, so her passive negates damage from your enemies onto onto all of your your units. So uh, at base level, 40% damage you're negating, negating, and the rest of the damage gets spread out onto your squad. Now, if you level this up to the max, you negate 80% damage. 80% damage. And then 20% gets divided up to your five guardians. So I think that is just it's game changing, game breaker. But to get to that 80% damage, you have to put you know a lot of time into Bronwyn. Uh, so she, she's definitely not your starting squad guardian because if you if you start off with that, uh, you'll end up killing the rest of your squad because they can't handle uh, that spread amount of damage. But once you get to later game and you get to that 80%, uh, you're just laughing at that point. Yeah, I, I love Bronwyn. I absolutely love it. It's one of my. It's definitely one of my better characters. Um, it's it's ma like it's it's high. I always level her up as much as I can. I, I agree that laser beam is literally a laser. It just melts uh, the other side. It's it's beautiful. Uh, incredible character. I absolutely love this one for sure. And uh, yeah, I always keep her up there. Her and the next one we're going to talk about. I believe it's the next one we're going to talk about. Uh, is uh, those are the two that I, I really have pumped up. And uh, yeah, definitely incredible. If there's two characters uh, on my whole squad that I that I, I you know that I, I go around, it is my Bronwyn and my Reborn. Uh, those are the two that I absolutely love. Speaking of Reborn, I think that's what we have next. Is it Reborn? It is not Reborn. Never mind. I made that up. It's not Reborn. It is actually. Albert, which who I have as well. So that now you guys know my team. You see, I got Albert, I got uh, Reborn, I got Bronwyn, I got uh, what, uh, Juno, Yesta. I don't know, Yusta. I got, I don't know, I got all these guys. I, you know, and remember my weak spot is my healers, man. I got bad healers, man, bad healers. But uh, anyway, we'll get there later. Albert, what are our thoughts on Albert? Okay, uh, Albert is kind of a very fun guardian. So if you you guys enjoy a bit of chaos in, in your combats, uh, definitely Albert is, is the one for you. Uh, so Albert falls under SK Gaming, uh, for those of you uh, who can relate to that. Um, so <laughs> Albert is all about displacement, knockback, and just absolutely absolute chaos. Uh, <laughs> the art of him is really cool as well. So he looks like this, this Hulk-type tank, uh, and his ultimate is... You jump into the middle of the battlefield as where is it's as dense as possible, and then you just fling everyone around. And when I say fling everyone around, you you literally throw people across across the stage, <laughs> right? So from one end to the other, and then it's just absolute chaos because then you you got little pockets of fighting going on, one here, one there, one here, and then and then it's just it's just absolute madness and mayhem and, and fun. Uh, I I find him really cool whether he's useful or not it's kind of hard uh to find something that works well with albert right now but i'm sure someone will be looking at albert and be like oh yeah he's perfect with this uh, other guardian or or whatnot so yeah I, I completely agree with you i've actually had it where the alt worked against me where he jumps in throws everyone around and now the, the team is behind me just destroying my healers and it, it's worked against me but I love this character. I don't know what it is about him. I, I, I don't know what it is, man. He's got this bubble that like sh yeah, shields you guys. Or something. I don't know what it is, man. But I, I love I love him. Yes, very chaotic. Maybe it's because I'm chaotic myself. Maybe that's why I relate to this guy. But uh, yeah, he, he's just fun to use. I, I just I like the art. I like the style. He's a warrior, but he has like a crossbow or something. Like it's just I don't know. There's something about him. It just calls to me. Um, am I probably you know? Maybe could I have a better unit in there instead of a maybe, I guess. I don't know. I mean, 
I'm sure there's a way to use him properly. Maybe I'm just not using it properly. But I, I really, really, really do like this character a lot. If it, it just, I like the way he plays. Again, the chaos in there, everything. Uh, Albert's my guy. He is my guy. He is up there with my Reborn and my Bronwyn. It's it's those three. That's my trio. That's my my three Musketeers. Is Albert Bronwyn Reborn and. Uh, Call me crazy, man, but that's my three. That's my three guys I'm riding with. You know what I mean? I got them leveled up as max as I can at any time. Anytime I get those XP scrolls, they, they go into these guys. I'm just diving in on them. I don't know why, but this is my guy. Uh, but, yeah, he's he's definitely an interesting play style. Like you say, chaos uh, when he comes in there. But, uh, man, it's fun. It, it keeps you on your toes. You know what I mean? It just keeps <laughs> you on your toes, and I love that. So there's our boy Albert uh, right there. Okay, so now we've got the last one, last but not least. Uh, this is uh, probably, I would say, one of the MVPs of this all. I want your thoughts on Reborn. What are your thoughts on Reborn? Uh, for those, let's do a little backstory before we get into it. Reborn was the very, very, very first uh, eSport hero released. This was released on its own before the batch of the rest, okay? So this is another energy uh, uh, hero which is, uh, you know, there's there's Reborn and there's Bronwyn. Those are two energy ones, I believe, right? So this one was released on its own. It came with, like, a competition and all this stuff. There was a whole uh, different uh, thing around it, and then they released the batch separately. So tell us about Reborn. What are your thoughts? Uh, let's break this all down. Let's give the juice on this. Yeah. So uh, Reborn is definitely... Uh... <laughs> he gets an advantage over the other uh, the other guardians, uh, the other esport guardians, because he was released first, and also because uh, he was also released at a higher price point. Um, so that's that's kind of what uh, what brings everything together into his profile here in the game. Um, but as a as a on his own, I think his skills are really good. Uh, so he really he's looking at damaging weak enemies. So anything below forty percent. Uh, he basically auto kills. Uh, he's just he's a very decent damage dealer warrior, uh, as well as you know applying bleed to everything. Uh, no, no, he's definitely a strong DPS. Uh, I know some people don't like warriors as main DPS uh, damage. Uh, I have no issue with it. I bring the warriors. Uh, I know what they can do, uh, and and they can fit very well. Now, the thing that sets him apart from the others is that he does start with a higher level. Because he was released uh, prior to the other ones, he does start with an Enlightenment of 8 and a Radiance of 3, uh, which is two levels higher uh, than all of the others. Which means if you start with <laughs> with Reborn, you will see a clear difference uh, in how you're clearing dungeons. Um, so he does, I believe, come at a higher price. Uh, if not, then you know he's he's a better deal. Uh, but he he is slightly does start with an advantage. Uh, does that mean he's better in the long run than any of the others? Not necessarily. Uh, is he a better warrior than Albert? He's definitely less chaotic and more reliable. <laughs> yeah, I uh, you nailed it right there. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, way less chaotic. This is my favorite character right here. Even when he first came out. Whenever I play any game, like a Dia if I were to play, like, say, Diablo or any game at all, I always pick the warrior, the guy that runs in and just goes in, you know, the brave one that goes and probably dies first, you know. That's me, right? So uh, I always like that style. And once I saw him going with a two-handed sword, all that stuff, I'm like, I need this hero. It just, he called to me the second they released him. I was like, yep, I need him. And I, I picked one up right away. Um, and he was the hero I was most looking forward to using and playing since the the minute I had him. So once the game came out, I couldn't wait to put him on my team and go, and he didn't disappoint. He's my main character. Uh, like you're saying, some people don't like Warriors as their main DPS. This is my main DPS. This is my main character. All the best gear go, goes to him. Everything goes to this guy. This is my guy. I absolutely love him, and uh, I try I try to, to keep him up there as much as I can, but yeah, this is my main guy. I lock him in on my team, and uh, I'm just obsessed with this character. And again, we said there's two energy heroes he is the one he is the, the the warrior and then there's the bronwyn which is another great character as well so um yeah i'm all in for reborn um do you see him now are you deep in the pvp ranks by chance at all or do you see uh, any of, of the of the of, of him in there do you see like how, how do you see him in uh in like do you see him more of as a pvp player a pve player uh wh where do you see him in the game yeah so reborn i believe uh, definitely fits into your PvE more than anything mm -hmm. uh, because he is kind of that reliable tank and well I mean sorry reliable warrior uh, 
and he provides a good amount of damage to it. Now, the issue there, uh, there is that he's mainly single target damage. Right. Um, whereas PvP, you want something that's fast, you want something that's that's reliable, you want something that affects more than one guardian at a time, uh, one enemy at a time. Uh, and that's where you kind of start seeing him drop off, uh, is in PvP. Some people do play it because they're playing uh, a soulless squad. So if you've got, you know, all soulless, then you get a bonus uh, to your squad. And, you know, people do rely on that a bit uh, for PvP. Um, but it's it's how you build around it, right? So I could see something built around um, Reborn for PvP, although it could be more difficult than, than, than other uh, Guardians. Right. Now, I want to say here, let me just switch over here. I want to say... I loved your I, I loved your breakdown. I think you do a really really good job. You're so knowledgeable about the game. Uh, I you know uh, Sam does stream I believe on Sundays. Is it yep, every Sunday? Sunday night. Every Sunday night. Every Sunday night. I'm gonna put his link in his Twitch for his Twitch channel down below. I want everybody to go check him out uh, as well. I stream as well on Twitch and a site called Kick. I'll put those links down below as well. I'll put all his socials in there. You guys make sure you check him out. Um, Sam, that was awesome, man. I really enjoy uh, having you. Always enjoy talking to you. And uh, it's just, it's always a good time. You know, we've been waiting for this game for a little bit. It's finally here. We get our hands on it. You know, we've been talking about this game, you know, for a couple of years. I've known you for a couple of years now. And uh, we're here. We're playing it. So it's, it's really, really fun. Really neat to, to actually see all our stuff in there. And uh, I'll tell you, I'm not disappointed. I like what I see so far. I think the game's a lot of fun. Um, I've been playing it nonstop, which I don't think is something that, you know, Clay is and see. I don't think he wanted us to put in, you know, like seven hours a day. But uh, big shout out, man, because. I just can't put it down. I'm playing it all the time, and and uh, I can't wait to stream it for people to see. So again, guys, if you're part of the Guild of Guardians community, let us know below. Like, let us know your builds. Let us know who you're using. What your thoughts on 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 your teams are. Our teams. You know, what 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 do I need on my team? Talk to me. Let's bring it down in the comments below. Uh, tell us what guild you're in. How are you doing in PvP? How are you doing in Endless? Let us know. We want to have these conversations. I'm going to answer every single one of you. And uh, I just, you know, let's have some fun. Let's get to know each other. The game is finally here. And let's bring this community in here, get together, and uh, let's have these conversations. You know, they're fun. So are you free to play? Are you not free to play? Let me know. You know, let us know. Uh, Sam, is there anything you want to say before we shut her down? Buddy, you did an awesome job. I just want to say that again, man. Is there anything you want to, want to say? No, just a big thank you for, to you, Capone, for, for having me. I do love to talk about Guild of Guardians day in and day out. Uh, I mean, I'm doing it constantly on Discord and in our community, uh, helping out anyone that has questions. Um, I just want to say, you know, eSport Guardians are absolutely interesting and, and a game changer in PvP, and that's what they were built for, uh, is kind of that PvP feature. So I really want to know, you know, how are you guys getting on in PvP with these eSport Guardians, and who's your favorite? 100%. Well, that's going to be my squad. I'm telling you, I'm building these eSport guys up. I'm using that as my PvP team. I'm going to go in with it. Uh, I'm all in. That's the way I go. I, I have my mind set on these guys, and I'm doing it, you know? So uh, I'll be I'll be out there. You'll see me on the on the PvP fields with my eSport team. That's what I got, and we're going in with it. So, uh, again, thank you, everybody. If you've listened this far, don't forget to follow the channel. We'll be doing a lot more of these videos in the future. Today, I have my boy Sam. I mean, I'm sure he'll come back and do it again. Uh, and he's not lying when he says he's always in Discord answering questions. You know, the other night, uh, I had some questions. I jumped in a, on a call with him. Boom. He's giving me all the stats and information and details and uh, really helped me out. So I want to say thank you again for that. I always appreciate you and, and everybody in, in the community. That's It's just a very good community. Everyone's kind of there for each other and I like that a lot. So a uh, big shout out to O Canada A uh, and actually a big shout out to Chef and all the big guys in the, and I see you guys in the PvP crushing it, man. You guys are crushing it. Uh, awesome. It's just really nice to see everyone finally getting their squads in and doing their stuff. So big shout out to everybody out there grinding, man. You guys are doing a really good job. So all right, guys, I'm out of here. We'll see you next time, and uh, thank you again, everybody, for watching this far. Don't forget to follow the channel. Let us know what you think. All right, we're out of here. Peace, peace, peace. Have a good one.